Let's see now what are some problems in capitalizing on big data. First, we have more data than we are used to. What that means is that you don't need to have necessarily petabytes in order to have a big data problem. If you have more data than your organization is used to, you are dealing with some type of a big data problem. And what is interesting here is that the volume of data there is not necessarily extremely high. You may be dealing with not so high volumes that still can present challenge. The other problem that we have with modern big data systems is that produced data that does not fit naturally into conventional data stores. So we have already seen that we have various types of unstructured data formats like images, videos, and text, and they're really poor match. So organizations are often puzzled how to deal with this type of information. The other issue that organizations have is that the data arrives quickly. And that also means that the usefulness of this information is limited. For example, if you are looking for a fraudulent transaction, you may have a very limited time in order to react and intervene. This also poses challenge to organizations that are already using some form of big data because traditional data systems, typically those based on Hadoop, are oriented towards processing of data in batch mode. When we deal with real-time data, we have difficulties with systems like that. Then, even if you have a lot of data and if you manage to store all this data, the problem is that it is not really clear what you want to analyze. How are you going to get benefits from this data? What would be the right mathematical models to apply? What kind of mining and analytics approaches should we apply? And that the knowledge for figuring this out is relatively scarce. One of the things that is really critical in dealing with big data is to remember that big data systems are not isolated islands. You always need to integrate these big data systems with conventional systems. Their information flow needs to be united and we need to be able to transform the information from big data systems into smaller amounts that can be handled by the conventional systems. So a very important area and it is extremely useful for organization to combine a big data insights with the knowledge that is in their conventional systems. As big data is a relatively new area, you will find that there are not enough people who are competent figuring out how to process this data. Not only processing, it is not only about analytics, but we also need to manage this data. We need to govern this data. Finally, we need to analyze the data in order to provide very useful output for the organization. And finally, politics, organizational silos. In many organizations, there is a fight who is going to deal with big data. There are parts of organizations that are afraid of change and they don't want to deal with big data. On the other hand, you may have the programmers who find the opportunity to do something useful with data and the data organization may feel that the developers are stepping onto their toes. So organizational silos are one problem in introducing successful big data organization. Thanks for watching this O'Reilly training video. If you'd like more information on this topic, click on learn more. Don't forget to subscribe to the O'Reilly Video Training YouTube channel for more tutorials. And be sure to like us on Facebook.